Hey everyone, it's Jay here. So in this video I'm going to step you through some of the troubleshooting steps that you might want to take if your device fails to pair. Usually when something fails to pair you'll just see this screen at the end of the pairing process. So one question you want to ask yourself, was the device flashing when it failed to pair? And there's three possible answers to this question. No, it wasn't flashing. Yes, it was flashing slowly. Or yes, it was flashing fast. If it wasn't flashing, then it means your device was not in pairing mode. So you need to put it into pairing mode by turning it off, on, off, on, off, on. And we have another video showing how this all works. Now, if it was flashing slowly, it means your device is in AP pairing mode. This is like a backup pairing mode that we can use. Generally, we recommend that you don't use this mode because it means you need to connect to each device individually. But to get out of this, just turn your device on and off, on and off again until it starts flashing fast. And then if your device was flashing fast and it still failed to connect, it means that there's some other issue somewhere. So we will proceed with the troubleshooting for this. So the next question you're going to ask yourself, the device was flashing fast, but did it stop flashing during pairing? Usually during pairing, the device will stop flashing at about 15%. Uh, and then it'll it'll zoom around to 100%. If this happened, or did not happen, then there's two possible outcomes. So if it didn't stop flashing, it means that the device didn't get the Wi-Fi details from your phone. And the question you want to ask yourself then was, was your phone too far away from your fitting? Or more commonly, this means that your phone is connected to a 5 gigahertz network. If it did stop flashing, that means that your device has got the Wi-Fi details. So again, is the device too far away from your router? Or more commonly, and 99% of the time, this is the problem here, have you put your Wi-Fi password into the Robus Connect app correctly? So if your phone is connected to a 5 gigahertz network, what you need to do is temporarily disable that network on your router. And we have a video showing how to do this on the, the BT router. Most routers will be the same. And then of course, checking your Wi-Fi password. So when you go through the app, the pairing process, you'll see that little eye icon. If you click on that, that'll actually show you your password in the app. And of course, if you're still having problems, then you can just email us or get us on Twitter and we'll try to help you. 